Hey, before the video starts, I just want to quickly say that we're going to do a Greg Okovich mass tonight at 1 UTC. I say it at the end of the video for more details, so skip there if you only want to hear for that. Hey guys, it is Skezzy, and welcome to another Ramblings episode. This one, I actually do have a topic for, um, but it'll still be a random, a randomble, a ramble, because uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to say. I don't have a script written out or anything like that, um, but... Yeah, so in the background, I'm just, you know, AFKing some Slayer. Don't mind that. That's just something to have in the background. I don't know why my HP is so low, though. Um, so what I want to talk about is what happened this past week. Um, you guys probably know last week was Thanksgiving, posted videos and stuff. Um, and there's a weird tradition that um, I don't know if it's just in America, but... I mean, it must be just in America because cause that's where Thanksgiving is. But the day after Thanksgiving, um, someone thought it was a good idea to make the next day some uh, another quote-unquote holiday, or not really a holiday, but like a, a day where you... like. How do I explain this? It's called Black Friday. Most of you already know of it. Um, basically, you go out to stores and stores will have lots of good deals because people want to save money when they're doing uh, Christmas shopping for you know their friends and family and, and whatnot, or even themselves. So, uh, it has been my tradition uh, to sort of take advantage of that, but I don't. I don't actually go out. Uh, you probably already guessed that, but they have a thing recently, uh, probably the last maybe three, four, five years, where it's called Cyber Monday, where the Monday following the Thanksgiving Thursday, uh, so the last Monday, I believe, of the month, um, or even Monday beginning of a new, new month, but uh, no, yeah, the last Monday of the month, usually, um, it's called Cyber Monday, and basically... Um, you purchase things online at a discounted price. Um, and they've gone even as far as, I think it's just this year, may have been last year as well, but they're calling it Cyber Week, uh, where you can have deals uh, not just on Monday, but also throughout the week. So uh, that's still actually going on. And most of the Cyber Monday deals are actually Sunday night, or, you know, they, they start on the weekend for some reason now. I don't, they don't have their act very together. I mean, they just like, they just want to put that stuff out as soon as possible so people grab it and stuff. Um, so anyways, um, so that time was around and, you know, last year when that time came around, I actually uh, purchased the parts for the computer that I'm on right now. Uh, you know, it was... Oh, no, I think, yeah, yeah, I think that's when I, yeah, that's when I purchased them, purchased them around Cyber Monday, and then, uh, to give myself a little bit of, you know, save myself a little money, the build itself cost, uh, off the top of my head, not including the other monitors that I got, it was around $2,000, but it would have cost, say, if you were to buy a computer that was this good, um, off of, like, a brand, you would be paying four thousand dollars or so, so I saved myself half, half of what I would have paid uh, just by making it myself or putting it together myself. So that's cool. But um, that's what I did last year. This year, uh, I didn't have quite as much money to spend. Um, in fact, I didn't have that many, you know, that much money at all. Really, honestly, right? More like zero. I didn't have any money. So, uh, you know, pretty, pretty much basically zero. So what I, you know, I was looking online thinking maybe I'll use a credit card to buy myself a new chair because the one that I have is a, is a recliner. I did get it last year and it's very short. It's short compared to my desk and I'm not complaining. I'm just explaining, uh, you know, the situation that I have going on here. Don't, don't take it as complaining because I'm, I'm, I'm in no way complaining about this. Um, it's just that if I had my mouse, uh, on my desk, right, it would be about, you know, 10 inches for my elbow going up to the desk. And originally, um, I did have my mouse pad up there 
and I was cutting off the circulation off my wrist. So that's not good. You can't you can't do that, um, or you shouldn't do that. So what I've been doing, and, and this is this is very weird. I have an iPad from mm, maybe eight or so years ago, and I actually use that on the the de uh, the chair arm, which is really ghetto, really ghetto, really expensive. Um, but I don't really use the iPad for much else, so I don't know. Probably gonna get hate hate comments for that. Anyways, so um, and I have the lap to, uh the keyboard on my lap. So and I don't know if you've ever I don't think I've ever shown my keyboard. It's a mechanical keyboard. You can probably hear it in the videos and stuff. Um, and I would say it's like three to five pounds. So to have that on my lap and uh you know, being the way it is, it's just cuts off the circulation from my legs and that's no good either. Again, I'm not complaining. I'm just, I'm just saying. So what my thought process was, all right, so I'm going to get myself a new chair potentially half off on Cyber Monday because that's kind of, you know, the trend, you know, 50% off is something that I look for. Uh, that's really the only way I'm going to buy something. Uh, if it's, if it's 50% off or something, something ridiculous like that. So, um, I looked up chairs and, you know, most people get the DX racers and the gaming chairs like that. And I was looking at some gaming chairs, but I wanted a, uh, foot rest for my foot. And I was looking at them and the ones that have the foot rests are a lot more expensive, like way 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 more expensive like maybe four hundred fifty dollars and i'm just sitting here like four hundred fifty dollars for a chair is like is a lot is a lot of money you could get a computer for four hundred fifty dollars a decent computer you can get a decent computer for four hundred fifty dollars um so i was just like now there's no way i'm spending four hundred fifty dollars on a chair and I was looking at reviews and stuff, and then I was like, ah, oh, you know what? Maybe if it's like two fifty, I'll go for it. So if it goes on sale for like two hundred, two fifty, something like that, um, maybe I'll go for it. And I was going back and forth, looking on YouTube, seeing reviews and stuff. And a lot of the people doing reviews on these types of gaming chairs, they they get given the chair. So of course the review is going to be biased towards the company because. They don't want to anger the company and they want to get more free chairs, even though, you know, the chair may not necessarily be the best chair. They'll say, oh, this chair is like really great or whatever. So I found this one guy talking about how, you know, he ordered a DX racer. I think it was like a King version and he was not satisfied with it. And the craftsmanship on it was the uh, like long story short, he had to get three orders after that, they had to send him three more um, pieces for the chair, and they kept messing it up, and they kept breaking the arms of the chair every single time it got shipped. So overall, it was just you know it wasn't a very appealing option after watching that video. So I decided, you know what, no, I'm not gonna do that. So then I started looking for, you know, keyboard holders to see. Cause the thing is, if you had uh, keep, if you got a DX racer chair, you would have to get, uh, or I would have gotten a DX racer swivel arm for the keyboard itself, which was another like $130. So now you're talking over $500 just for something, you know, that, you know, holds my keyboard and, and mouse and stuff while I'm playing. Cause the desk is, I don't think the desk is too high. I think the chair is just too low. Um, so I was like, there's no way I'm paying $500. There's got to be a better option. So I went through a whole bunch of things, looked at different, you know, keyboard holders and nothing really, you know, they were all really expensive. They, like, again, they were like $130, $150 for this thing that just holds a keyboard. And I was like, why, why is it like that? And then on my recommended list, there was something called a couch master, um, and it's made by people in Germany, and it's shipped, or German engineered, but crafted in the UK, and, or something like that, and it costs $150 for pretty much this piece of wood that uh, sits on two armrests, but the thing is, it's made for a couch, so I, 
you know, I kind of understand. It looked very comfortable, and I was going back and forth, seeing if I should get that. And I ultimately decided, no, I'm not going to get that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build my own, right? So I built my own for $30. What I did was, um, and I have a video footage of me purchasing the different materials and actually building it. But I didn't post it because, again, my chair's arms are really low, and it, it's a recliner, so it makes sense. Um, so I'm not going to post that video unless you want me to, because it actually didn't work out. At least the arms arms of the uh, the couch master thing that I made, it, it didn't work out. So what I ultimately ended up doing was ordering... A, what are they called? They're, they're arms. It's like a hydraulic sort of... Let me see what it's called. It is called... Um, a full motion desk mount with uh, mount and gas spring for computer monitors. So it's it's got a vase uh, uh, attachment on the back. So I figure all I need to do is hook it up to the back of my plank which is just a piece of wood and then just screw it in uh, and then it'll hold my keyboard so when that comes in I will be trying that out if you do want me to make a video on that an unboxing on that I can do that uh, I just said that like four times within one sentence but yeah so pretty much it's gonna clamp onto my desk and hopefully it's gonna reach uh, far enough for me to have my keyboard on it and my mouse on it and no issues we'll figure it out um but that itself cost me 37 dollars. so total it cost me 67 dollars, which is still cheaper than buying any you know like a couch master or something like that because uh, the shipping on those is another 40 dollars on top of the 150 you pay so it's almost 200 dollars. it's cheaper than buying a new chair um, and also I get to keep the comfort of this chair that I have. It is a comfortable chair. It's a recliner, um, and it is a massage chair. So, you know, I didn't really want to get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it is, it is a cheap one. It's not expensive or anything. It's not like a couple thousand dollars. It's like $150, $200 for it. So, uh, but the thing is that's still $150, $200 that I don't want to be wasted after one year. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much um yeah that's been my week and i'm waiting for this item to come in and i ordered two day shipping but for some reason they didn't start shipping it until actually they still haven't even shipped it there it's scheduled to be shipped tomorrow so i'm supposed to get it on friday so i won't be able to make that video until friday anyways but uh, if you do want to see a video, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I do read all the comments that I can. It's not to the point where I can't read all the comments yet. Um, I'm trying to think. What else can I say about it? I think that's pretty much it. Uh, so the plank that I have, um, it's 30 inches by 10 inches. And I put a mouse, a large mouse pad over it. So the whole thing is a mouse pad. And uh, my task is done. But the whole thing is a mouse pad, and it's big enough to hold my keyboard and my uh, my mouse. And the main issue is that I have a corner desk, so it's kind of weird. I can't put my thing on the desk. I can't put my keyboard and mouse on the desk because it's high up compared to my chair. So I'm hoping that this is the solution. And uh, but if you if you want me to post the video of me actually making the thing the only reason why it didn't work fully and i'm still using part of it the only reason why it didn't work to its fullest is because my arms are not solid they're very soft and one of them is actually lower than the other so it was like really messing but um you can do this if you were playing gaming on the couch you know uh if you're you hook it up to the couch uh hook it up to the tv and you're playing on your couch you just got to make the arms a little higher uh, but you can do it as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow for another... Oh, actually, I did want to mention, um, I am doing a... We're doing a Mass tonight, uh, the 29th of November. We're doing it at 
1 UTC, so an hour after reset for all of you, which is, um, you know, it, it seems like a pretty good time. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, Greg, Greg Okovich, and I uh, hope you guys come because that is a boss that I... I don't really like doing, and it's a pretty good boss to mass if you're going for KC for the pet and stuff. So come join us, and uh, we're going to build some KC and have some fun. So just got to join my friend's chat, which is just my name. It's S-C-U-Z-Z-Y, and I uh, hope to see you. I'll, g I'll give you an ad if I see you in there, and uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll have some fun. I believe it's going to be on World 46, and we're going to do some uh, loot share keeps. So... Yeah, come join us. See you then. Peace.